continuation of the automatic electric step-by-step -step system. This is a multi-terminal connecting block that has amphenol connectors on one side and wire wrap on the other. This is going to connect to the line equipment and then be cross-connected to the bank of the connectors. And then there'll be an additional cross-connect to another block that goes to the mainframe. Terminal blocks in the back of the line equipment that will be wired down and extended to that multi-terminal connecting block. I have the jacket removed from the cables. These are 24 pair of 10 wire. There's 150 pairs, so it'd be uh, minus six, would be 100 and uh, 44. Please give me a thumbs up or a middle finger. It looks like the thumbs up. A like and subscribe. If you're intimidated by cable and wires, this hobby is not for you. This is the last cable that I need to terminate on this block. I have uh, the pairs poked through the holes ready to terminate. I will terminate uh, half of this and then show that part done. And then when I'm finished, I will show all of the blocks that's been wired. There are two sets of holes. One that's the back hole closest to the uh, bottom of the block, which is back here, and then the front hole. When terminating cables on any kind of a block like this with those kind of holes, you always do the back ones first. And then, of course, to not end up with wires in your way, I start at the back lug and continue to work forward till I'm finished. It doesn't matter if this is a 4-row, 8, 10, or 12-row block. They're all terminated the same way. Another thing to keep in mind, on this particular arrangement, I'm using factory-made connectorized blocks, and they've used three pairs for two circuits. So the 25 pair color code, what they have done is taken pair number one, which is the white blue, and pair number three, which is the white green, and those are the audio pairs. And then the white orange, which is typically pair two, is split between the two rows. So it goes tip ring, sleeve, sleeve, tip ring, and then starts over tip ring, sleeve, sleeve, tip ring, all of the way down. This makes it a little bit more challenging to wire. You need to pay more attention to what's going on. Finished product. I'm not the best person at soldering in the world, but because I hate like heck doing it. This kind of work is not being done in 2024. Any new equipment being installed in central offices would be wire wrap. And since everything is moving to voice over IP and gigabit type services, twisted pair is basically not used anymore. 150 pairs of wire terminated now on the 100 line line group. Finished product of tying a line group, a connector shelf together, and a hundred pair cable going to the MDF. I have 125 pairs of the 150 fanned out on this bank block. 
This is the last of the large wiring that will be done on the AE step system. The last of the very large cables that I had to wire on this automatic electric step system. This is all wire wrap here. And then over here is the connector bank. Each of the two connector banks have 150 pairs of wire. And then of course the wire wrap block has got the other end of the 150 pairs plus the 100 pair cable for each of the two groups that goes to the mainframe. And in order to make this system modular so that it can be moved, it's been connectorized on one side and those amphenols of course go to the line equipment. I have four more cables to solder down on the jacks and then over to the terminal block and this is where the dial plan will be established, the office code and the dial plan. The wires up here in this shelf that are long, I haven't cut them off and stripped them yet to wire them to the jack. And then I have one more cable at the top that I have to make up, put an amphenol on and wire it down. Here is one of the tray blocks and here's another block that the cables will go to the jacks on the back of the shelves. This will conclude this part of the wiring of the AE system. The next part will be uh, demonstrating it actually working. Please like, subscribe, thanks.